Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is a hypothesis test problem. So for, for a mean, so let me read the problem and then you can try it. Uh, the average production of potatoes in Idaho is 4,000 pounds per acre. A new fertilizer has been developed and is tested on, on 50 individual plots of land. The mean yields with the new fertilizer is 4,125 pounds of potatoes per acre. And the population standard deviation is 581 pounds. At alpha equaling 0 0.05, can you conclude that the average production has increased? So step number one, Step number one is you want to list out your hypotheses and you have your null hypothesis and then your alternative hypothesis. Let's list out the claim first. Can you conclude that the average production has increased? So mu, or the mean of the population, greater than, because it's increased, that means it's larger, than the 4,000, 4,000 pounds per acre, which means that this, let me put claim here, that means that this is your null hypothesis equaling 4,000. Step number two is you want to find your critical values. With your critical values, you want to first make the critical region or your rejection region. Now, since it's greater than, it's going to be right tailed. It's going to look like this. And this area right here, your rejection region, is your alpha. 0 0.05 and so you look at your chart and this is a Z table so you want to look at the probability here notice on the graph that the area is to the left of it so it'd be 95 percent on the table find whatever's close, and what's close is 0 0.9505. So my z-score would be 1.65, and that would be my critical value. Step number three is you got your test statistic. Here, since I'm using a z-table, and you know it's mean and I'm also given the standard deviation of the population that means I can use a z-score so z equals x bar minus mu over standard deviation divided by the square root of n so you plug everything in the the mean of the sample would be the 4,125 minus 4,000 over your standard deviation of the population, which is 581, divided by the square root of n. And n is your sample size. Here it's the 50. So it would be the square root of 50. Now I'm going to round to two decimal places and the reason why I'm doing that is because of this. You can use three, it doesn't matter. I just try to match it. So I have 4,125 minus 4,000 parentheses and I'm putting this whole entire thing in parentheses. I'm going to have to put the whole denominator in parentheses as well and in between is a fraction bar and fraction is also the fraction bar represents a division sign 
So I can press divide and then parentheses 581 divided by the square roots of 50. I have to close for the square root and then I have to also close for the denominator. And I get 1.52. Approximately. Step four is I have to make a decision. This falls outside the rejection region. So I do not reject the null hypothesis. Step number five is my conclusion. And your conclusion is based upon your decision, and then also it's based upon your claim. Now, I'm not rejecting this, so that means I'm not accepting this, which means I don't have enough evidence to support the claim. So, uh, there is not enough evidence to support the claim that um, the average production increase average production of potatoes has increased. And that's it.